The Captain Marvel trailer has managed to hit the internet. I don't think that the trailer was anything special. I think it looks just fine for a superhero film. But one of the things that people complain about so much was the lack of emotions on the main actress Brie Larson's face when she's playing Captain Marvel. Now that too is one of my complaints on the trailer, but it's not that big of a deal for me. I have better things to do than complain about that, like constructing more gaming desktops for my customers, or ripping demons from hell, or juggling cosplayers. But just as I'm about to mind my own business, when I went out to Google Captain Marvel, I found a couple of really interesting articles. Apparently, a bunch of Captain Marvel fans are telling Brie Larson from Captain Marvel to smile more. Now, Vox considered this catcall, and forgive me for being a filthy foreigner, but I don't know what the hell this catcall business is about. So, catcall is basically whistling when a woman passes by. Honestly, anyone who does that is freaking obnoxious as hell. This isn't the early 2000s, guys. Get on with the times. If you want to gush over attractive women or human beings in general, just write a blog post about it or draw some fan arts. But asking people to smile more isn't a catcall, it's just an advice. I admit that it can be a really garbage advice to give. You don't exactly say this to someone who suffers from severe depression, but it is an advice nonetheless. And the people who say this might have good intentions. Maybe they're telling you to smile because they don't like to see you depressed. My point is, it depends from situation to situation. It's not the same to all cases of people giving the advice to smile. So maybe asking Brie Larson to smile in this case is a form of catcalling. I don't know. Let's read out. After the first trailer for Captain Marvel was released this week, a sect of fans started bemoaning what it is showed of Brie Larson's performance in a title role, complaining that her acting seemed stiff and wooden. That sentiment led one Twitter user to literally and creepily photoshop a smile onto Larson's face in stills from different scenes, claiming they had fixed her. The article linked a tweet from Turd Flinging Monkey, basically saying that he fixed Captain Marvel things to face up. If you don't know who Turd Flinging Monkey is, he is part of the MGTOW community with an unknown number of subscribers who mostly talk about gender politics on his YouTube channel. And true to his name, he absolutely loves shitposting. And this tweet is one of those. So you're telling me that this entire article is based on one tweet that is a result of shitposting from a freaking MGTOW? Now yes, I do dig in hot takes in my videos sometimes, but most of these hot takes go into my meme stream where I can just laugh at them with so many people live. That and I usually make videos based on multiple tweets regarding a single unifying topic rather than just one. So when Vox decided to make an article based entirely on one tweet, it just tells me two things. Either it's a slow news day and the writer had no idea what to write, or the writer is really, really triggered by this tweet. Manipulating a smile onto Captain Marvel's face is seemingly a digital extension of the smile more harassment that women hear all the time as the Atlantic Express in 2016, women are frequently advised to smile by the people around them, from co-workers to strangers on the street, implying that they need to appear happier for the benefit of others, usually men. Now forgive me once again for being a filthy foreigner who is not really in tune with the news or the western culture in general, but this is the first time I have heard that women being told to smile is a form of harassment. I personally have been told to smile quite a lot actually, especially in times where I am really depressed. I admit that it is pretty annoying and I want people to just leave me alone and let me deal with my own depression, but this paragraph is implying that telling women to smile is basically a way for men to assume control of women. Okay, someone is really paranoid. A man telling a woman to smile, and in Captain Marvel's case, digitally altering a woman's face to smile, capitulates the crooked idea that it's not up to women to decide when to smile, that a woman appearing to be happy and pleasant is more important than how she might actually feel, that women owe it to others to perform a certain emotion, whether it's sincere or not. I don't know why journalists, especially progressive journalists, get this idea that certain actions that we do that are completely innocent perpetuate certain terrible ideas. Maybe it's all the paranoia that you got thanks to reading too many fake news. A man telling a woman to smile perpetuates the idea that it's not up to women to decide when to smile. That's right, if I tell you to smile, that means I am forcing you to emote in a manner that I want you to, instead of, I don't know, a friendly advice? that you can just say no. This tweet is just a ship post. You are so upset by this, you make an entire article telling people that men are evil for telling women to smile because it's them trying to force their orders and emotions to women. No, writer, it's just men giving a friendly advice. I doubt that it's even all men who complain about her lack of emotion in the trailer. Don't just assume that all men are evil, manipulative bastards from hentais or something. The writer then says telling women to smile implies that a woman appearing to be 
happy and pleasant is more important than how she might actually feel. I agree that this is BS, but this isn't an exclusively men to women thing. I've been told to smile even when I'm really depressed. It is annoying, I agree, but this isn't a gendered issue. To make this a gendered issue is pretty freaking selfish. This is an issue of people lacking the empathy to understand other people's issues and emotions. People make this mistake all the time, and most of the time, it's an honest mistake. It's very rare for people to tell others to smile more as a way to provoke them or be a dick to them. At least as far as I know, it's rare. I don't know about you Westerners with your backwards culture, but in here, when someone tells others to smile, it is a friendly advice that only works about 10% of the time. And maybe that's the case for Captain Marvel. Maybe people told her to smile because they legit want to see her be happy. It comes from good intentions rather than an evil, manipulative desire by men to assume control over women. Captain Marvel lost her memory and her ability to emote, according to the film summary. So yes, telling her to smile might not be a good idea because she doesn't have a lot of reason to smile. Like I said, the trailer looks fine and I can't wait for the film, so I'm very neutral on this entire thing. In fact, I really don't like when people tell me to smile when I'm depressed. I understand that they have good intentions, but I can't just force myself to do it. So I actually really want to agree with this article, but it went on to make some of these stupidest of stupidest of takes. Ironically, this specific type of catcalling and harassment is something Marvel has directly addressed with one of its other female characters. Marvel's Netflix show Jessica Jones made the insidiousness of the smile more command a sinister point in its depiction. Okay, 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 stop. I see where you're going and you're wrong. Just because villains do nice things doesn't mean that they're not nice things to do. What, you're gonna stop petting cats just because Dr. Claw did it? Concern over how much they're smiling isn't something male superheroes typically have to deal with. They haven't been any viral calls for Iron Man or Thor or Captain America to be more smiley. Actually, that's because all of those characters can smile, and all of the actors actually look like they're acting. Not saying that Captain Marvel can't smile or Brie Larson can't act, this is just a really stupid point. And here you have IndieWire posting the same sorts of article. I mean, wow, it's just one tweet from a MGTOW who loves to shitpost on the internet. Slow news days, guys? Captain Marvel happens to be the first female superhero to receive her own solo movie in the Marvel Cinematic Universe. This sexist reaction obviously found its way to Larson, who responded to it by posting the social media photoshop posters for Iron Man 3, Doctor Strange, and Captain America featuring the male superhero smiling. I have no idea how this is supposed to own the other guy. The monkey's point is that Brie Larson's acting is flat and wooden, not that she literally has to smile more. How is this point supposed to counter the other guy's point? How is this point supposed to own the other guy? If I'm the other guy, I'd be looking at this and like, <laughs> that's hilarious. Point is, you suck at this reply thing. You didn't own this battle, Brie. Try again. PSA, please stop photoshopping smiles onto Captain Marvel. Writer, do I have to tell you Internet 101? If you tell people not to do something, they will freaking do it. In the immortal words of Bonnie Tyler, we've been holding out for a here. Oh. <laughs> But not everyone is happy with what we've seen so far. Why? Not enough Mohawk Carol? Do the scrolls look too much like Dragon Ball Evolution's Piccolo? No. The question some are asking instead is, why so serious, Bree? Uh, yeah, that's people's complaint about her looks. Again, I'm not complaining too much, I'm just baffled in the overreaction of this entire thing. They've taken to Twitter to bemoan every moment in which star Brie Larson doesn't have a smile plastered across her face, describing the Academy Award winner as Okay, a okay, piece okay, of okay, wood. stop. Just because she won awards doesn't mean she will act well in every film. Paul Giamatti won tons of awards and was an Academy Awards nominee, and he was the rhino in Amazing Spider Man 2. I can list tons of and tons of actors and actresses who are award nominees and or winners who half assed their roles in their films. This is a very stupid point, and I don't even agree that she should smile too much. At least present people's arguments accurately. The writer then cited Turd Flinging Monkey's tweet. Let me remind you people that these articles are written thanks to this one tweet. Not a bunch of tweets, which would at least make a little bit more sense, but one tweet. Either this is just a hack job or you are legitimately triggered by this. Or both, I mean, that is a possibility. The complaint is reminiscent of when Gal Gadot's armpit stubble caused controversy for being digitally retouched in one shot of a Wonder Woman trailer. Okay, 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 stop. Writer, you just compared an actress's acting to hairy armpits. <sighs> 
You're a genius. For Ragnarok was criticized for being overly funny, but no one complained that For himself was smiling too much. Conversely, the films of the so-called DC Extended Universe have been ridiculed for not being funny enough, yet the lack of a consistent grin on the faces of Superman and Batman have never been cited as part of the problem. That's because people care more about the tone of the overall film rather than the expression that the characters make. The expression is just an example to highlight either the overly comedic tone or the overly depressing tone. My god, people are seriously missing the point and I'm not even the one making it. None of Captain Marvel's fellow MCU characters, male or female, have ever had their facial expressions altered because of an apparent lack of visible joy. Scarlett Johansson has been stoically staring down audiences as Black Widow since 2010's Iron Man 2, usually only deploying the rare up curling of her lips for manipulative purposes. Um, she has smiled many times, not just a manipulative smile, but a legitimate one. Someone hasn't seen the films that she star in. And say what you want about Scarlett Johansson, at least she can display rage. <laughs> What makes Carol Danvers different? The answer is simple, really. This is the first time a woman has been the solo lead in an MCU movie, and one of the handful times where a woman has led any superhero feature. You are here, and you're an idiot. Wow. You have comically missed the point. No, what makes Carol Danvers different is that Brie Larson looks so flat in the film. Who the hell goes into Captain Marvel, complain about her flat acting, just because it's the first female solo lead in an MCU movie? Are you under the assumption that most people who complain about this are misogynists who hate women and they don't want women in the MCU or star in their own MCU film, even though there have been women in the MCU? I want you to describe to me the people who say, I hate Brie Larson's acting because she's the first female solo lead in an MCU superhero film. Point me to at least one person and I will tell you why this person's opinion is something that you should not care about in the slightest or how his opinions are not the same as many other people's opinions. Perhaps we will see her crack a few jokes when she takes a quick break from attempting to stop an alien war and recovering the gaps in her memory following a crash landing on Earth. Even if that turns out to be the case though, it ignores the crux of the issue. People aren't complaining Captain Marvel isn't funny enough, they're complaining she isn't smiling enough. No, people are complaining that she's not emoting enough. She's supposed to be angry in the scene, right? I've never seen someone who looks this bored when angry. Maybe that's just Brie Larson's natural face? I don't really know, I don't really care. Telling women to smile is one of the most petty moves from the sexism playbook. Pick up that coffee. Throw it in your face. Writer, people telling others to smile when they are clearly depressed or troubled is admittedly annoying, but it's not sexism. Men got this too, and most of the people who say this are usually not malicious. But the writer is a paranoid lunatic who thinks that asking people to smile is a form of evil manipulation by men towards women. It's kind of like Kenji from Katoa Shoujo in reverse. As a lot of women, particularly those with resting bitch face will tell you, the expectation on them to be happy, grinning idiots when they're doing little more than sitting on the bus or or walking down the street is a frustratingly persistent one. I know, right? It's frustrating, right? But that's not Turn Flinging Monkey's point. That's not what people are saying. They're saying that Brie Larson looks flat and wooden. I personally disagree, or at least not to the same extent as many others, but at least present their arguments correctly. This is slow news day for you, isn't it? There's a wealth of personal stories from women. Irrelevant! Just because it happens to some women doesn't make it sexism. That expectation is for women to always be likable, or worse, decorative. It's a reminder that you're being watched constantly, no matter where you go, and if your demeanor is found lacking then, rest assured, you'll be told to correct it before you start frightening children. Okay, writer, let's establish a few things. It's annoying when people tell you to smile when they don't want you to smile. I agree. It's annoying that random strangers tell you when to smile. I agree. Those things have nothing to do with most people's criticisms about Brie Larson's acting. Those things have nothing to do with Turd Flinging Monkey's point. This entire article is a huge misunderstanding, and unfortunately, I don't believe that this is an honest one. The other articles are huge misunderstandings as well. Journalists focus so much on the point that she has to smile more, but that she needs to act more convincing or act like she actually cares for the role. To conclude this video, I don't really care either way. I just want to see Captain Marvel in theaters next year. 
here, but what I do care about is you not presenting other people's arguments. I disagree with the position that she has to smile more, but that's not people's main point, and you are misrepresenting them. And seriously guys, articles made thanks to one ship posting tweet? I'm deeply sorry your feelings are hurt.